Hello everyone, Max with Haven Website Pro, and today we're going to learn how to update Libre Office Suite. So if you open up any of the applications within the Libre Office, uh, when there's an update available, you're going to see this over here on the top right, kind of like a little orange flower. It'll say Libre Libre Office update available. Click on the icon for more information. When you click on that, it's going to bring up this little box right here. And it's going to tell you the uh, version that you have installed and what you can upgrade it to. So I have 6.4.6.2 currently, and I can upgrade to 6.4.7. Now, it does give us a note. It says, before downloading an update, please ensure that you have sufficient access rights to install it. A password, usually the administrator root password, may be required. Now, all this is is whenever you sign on to your Windows, if you, or uh, perhaps your your Linux system, uh, your Mac system, you might have to enter in the general password that you use to log into your computer uh, for it to make changes and so on and so forth. Okay, the and then it gives you the description. The automatic download of the update is currently not available. Click download to download LibreOffice manually from the website. So now, whenever you click this download, uh, it's going to take us to a browser because you cannot update LibreOffice uh, from the LibreOffice suite or within any of these applications. So when you click this download, it brings you up the, uh, uh, the website for LibreOffice.org. And here you can uh, choose your system. Now, this little uh, box right here, if you click down, you can see that it has the Windows 64-bit, 32-bit, and the Mac and the Linux. Now, usually whenever you get to this page, your it'll read your system. And so this selection right here, whenever you click on that very same link, this might be for your Mac or it might be for your Linux system or your Windows 32-bit system. Okay, but if you're unsure and you want to know what you have, you can actually go to, uh, if you're on your Windows system, go to the search here and type in system like that and this will give you your system information. And let me bring this over here. See where it says system type here, X64. That tells me it, it's a 64-bit system. So uh, if you were a 32-bit system, it would be X32. Okay? So uh, there's a, another way to check it as well. But if we go to here to, uh, what is it? To the control panel. Click on system and security. See the name of this computer. And right here you can see where it says system type 64-bit operating system. See the X64 base processor. Okay. So that's the other way that you could tell what kind of, uh, you know, choice you need to make here whenever you're choosing your operating system. Of course, if you're on a Mac or a Linux system, then you'll choose the you know the appropriate one. But uh, what you'll do is you'll click uh, the down. Now, whenever you look at this torrent info, uh, torrent, this just means this is different places where you could download it from that's possibly closer to your machine. Okay, so we'll just click download. Now the download will start automatically. All right. This currently, this one, if you look down in the lower left-hand corner here, it's 302 megabytes. I have one minute left. But uh, I could also uh, download this LibreOffice Build and Help. This is 2.1 megabytes, but I'm not going to bother. I'm not going to bother with that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and let that download. In the meantime, I'm going to come back to my LibreOffice here. Let me bring up both these things. And I, I really don't need this, this stuff now. So I, what I want to do is I want to close it out. Okay. Now notice that little orange flower there. The other way that you can check for updates is go to uh, help and then check for updates this way. If you check for updates that way, it'll, 
it'll check and it'll let you know that there's an update available and it actually gives you the same box so if you don't see that little orange flower in the top right you could go to help check for updates and update your LibreOffice uh, suite that way. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and close out. I'm not going to save the changes in this particular document. I'm going to go ahead and finish letting that download. i got 22 seconds left. Okay, it looks like I'm done downloading. And you can see down here in the lower left-hand corner, I'm getting the text with a link in it to open the file. Now, uh, this is... Uh, uh, .msi file. You could see with the uh, one in parentheses there that I've downloaded it earlier, but I'm just going to go ahead and open this one for your benefit, and we're going to get this Welcome to the Installation Wizard for LibreOffice. Now, you will notice that, that I did close the uh, LibreOffice, so I'm not going to uh, have any prompts to close the LibreOffice, but now with this installation wizard, it's going to walk me through the process. So, and it's letting me know here what version of LibreOffice it's going to install. And so, in order to continue, click Next. So, I'll click Next here. Now, whenever you get to this particular uh, box, I I choose the typical installation. You know, but if you have uh, program features you want installed and then you want others not to be installed, you could choose custom. But for, I would say, 80 to 90 percent of the population, you're going to choose the typical installation. And I'm going to click next. Here you have uh, it tell you that it's ready to install the program. And it's getting ready to begin the installation. But now it wants to know if you want a shortcut on your desktop. So uh, I'm not going to, I'm going to choose no because what that does, it gives you an icon on your desktop to create a shortcut so you could go to LibreOffice. But I usually access all of my programs by going to my search because my desktop gets cluttered if I continue to add these icons or these shortcuts on them. Now, the other option it asks is if you want to load LibreOffice during your system startup. This is generally a bad practice because the more stuff that you have loading up during the, your computer startup, it's going to slow it down. So that's why I don't check that box. Okay. This is usually people that the only thing they do is get on their computer to load, uh, you know, office documents. But, uh, we don't, and this would be probably geared more towards a uh, business uh, operation, uh, you know, for like a, a news place, a magazine place, or whatever that's constantly using. But we'll go ahead and click install. Now, this installation wizard, you're going to have do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? And uh, well, you have to select yes. Okay, now during the installation process, I got this box pop up. It says some files need to be updated that are currently in use. The following applications are using files that need to be updated by the setup. You can let installation close them and attempt to restart them or reboot the system later or complete the setup. I'm going to tell it to go ahead and close the applications and attempt to restart them because my Atom and Microsoft Edge are currently running on other desktops, so they need to be closed. So I'm going to let the installation wizard close them. Here I get a, uh, an alert box. It says the setup was unable to automatically close all the required applications. Please ensure that the applications holding the files in use are closed before continuing with the installation. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to navigate to the other sections of my desktop and I'm going to manually close these um, windows. One of them being right here, the Microsoft uh, Edge. So I'll close that one. I'm closing my Atom my editor and I'm going to go ahead and close my Microsoft Edge on my other. Let me come back to here and then I will click OK. I'm 
and we're letting the installation wizard do its thing. And now we get the com installation wizard completed uh, box. And this lets us know that the installation wizard had successfully installed LibreOffice 7.0.3.1. Click finish to exit the wizard. So we'll exit the wizard and I'll come over here to my search and type in LibreOffice Writer. Load that up into our window here. Here I can see it has a, a newer icon on it. And see if it changed any of my, uh, yeah, it kind of changed my uh, my layout. So if I want to go in and customize it, I'll have to do the uh, what I've done in the previous tutorials and go ahead and change the look and feel of this if, if I want to. Um, it says here you're running version 7.0 of LibreOffice for the first time. Do you want to learn what's new? And so I could click the release notes and read all the exciting exciting information that they have in the release notes and i'm sure that you'll want to get up to speed on here but for the sake of efficiency i'm not going to read all this to you in this video okay this is max with AM website pro this video has been on how to update libre office sweet and i hope that you enjoyed the video please give it a like please share and subscribe if you're not already done so. Thank you.